Mr. Zainab, you mentioned a very strange, ajeeb story. You mentioned that you guys were out in da'wah and then you came across this drunk man at a bar who eventually became Muslim. What was the story? What happened? Uh, the story goes, uh, there was a, we had an invitation to lay this down. We had an invitation to go to a place called Beza. Beza. Right. Okay. It's like in Mashinda. Okay. And I stay in Harare. Right. So we had to take two different transport cars to take to, to the place. So the first one took us to uh, Tilmurambinda. Right. So we got off that one. Then we had to take another bus from there to get to Beza. Yourself and how many people? Another one sister of mine. One sister, okay. Right, one with two, two dower with her. Okay. Right, so when we got there to get into the second bus, the second bus wasn't getting full. So it was like now around like five, six mm. in the evening. Right, so the buses don't get off, then take off until yes, it's full. Yes, yes. Then when we got full, then we left for the place. Then when we drop off there by Beza, by the bus stop where the Imam had told us, the Sheikh had told us that we have to drop off, it was late, it was like midnight, 12 oh, midnight. Huh. So like those people in the bus, they were telling us that this place here, these hyenas, then they eat people, they don't... <laughs> the the like, hyenas, the animals? The animals, Okay. Cheap, right? So we were scared, yeah. because only two of us, the ladies, we don't know the place, we don't know the market, it's a new place to us to travel. Anyway, when we dropped, it was dark, it was midnight. But we could see, see a light, it was very far from us. But then we said, we had no option, let us take to go where we can see the light. So we took a walk till the place, the way the light was. When we got near now, we could hear the music. We were getting near the place, we could hear the music. I said, we have to go and knock there when the music is coming from. It shows that there's like, people are still alive, uh, awake. Mm. So we got there, we knocked. So when we knocked, then when we peeped inside, that's when we saw that it was a beer. Right? Oh, it was a bar. It is a bar. Okay. Right, so the one drunk man came out from there. Then he asked us, Hey ladies, what are you doing at this time of the night here? Then we told him our story, you know, we came from Harare, we tried to get to a certain place where there's a masjid, I don't know if you know the place. Then he said, No problem, it's just nearby, let me check you. So he took us to the place, then we got there by the chef, we, we had the, the night there. In the morning, the same guy who took us, the drunk man, he came back to check on us. Then he asked us the reason. Then now, just tell me nicely, what was your people's reason traveling at night from Harare to come to this place? Mm -hmm. Then we told him, no, we just do the dawah, we invite people towards Allah, and we explain to him everything, what we do. Mm -hmm. Then he said, if ladies could sacrifice their life and their time and everything to come and walk like the time of the night, mm -hmm. then show that this is a true religion. Then we gave, we left for him our numbers. Then uh, later on, I think he went to the imam, then he so you spoke to him more about Islam, mm. but now Alhamdulillah he became a Muslim. SubhanAllah, mashallah, mashallah, mashallah. So if people were intending to go there and do the star with this woman, etc., but Allah wanted that this drunk man at the bar for him to become Muslim mm. via that effort. Alhamdulillah. Khairuqti, barakallahu, keep up the good work. Jazakallah, inshallah.